I'm really not liking a number of things about X over this past year. So much of it is filled with people who just want engagement so they can get paid. It's similar to what somewhat ruined YouTube, I mean, depending on the content that you like to watch on YouTube anyway. But there are countless people on X who, some of them can be quite popular actually on the platform, who might post something cool or thought-provoking, but 95% of the replies are people posting things that are completely unrelated to the original post. You know, often just some video clip of some sort, of, of just any type. I mean, it could be anything. I'm talking no relation to the original post at all. The original post could be asking a question. And 95% of the comments don't make an attempt at answering it at all. It's just some random BS. I mean, sometimes it can be entertaining, the things that they post, but that's not why I was looking at the thread. I've probably blocked over 30 people who consistently reply to people's posts with completely unrelated crap. When making money becomes the primary reason why people use a platform, it's bound to show in the quality of the content. Engagement at all costs does not make for a pleasant platform. And then there's the fact that a huge swath of people, mostly on the left, but, you know, woke people, have quit the platform for various reasons. Mostly that hateful content is allowed from all sides. The way it used to be before Elon bought it, woke people could be as hateful as they wanted, but non-woke people were put under strict rules. And breaking those rules was deemed hate speech. So yeah, now I can say just about anything I want and not get suspended, and not get bombarded with ultra-woke people who want to destroy my life. But I also don't get any sort of reasonable pushback to anything that I say either. It's very much turning into a right-wing echo chamber. I mean, I figured it would eventually happen, since so many woke people and internet keyboard lefties truly can't take genuine criticism. At least... Not unless it's so watered down using safe language that the original bite of the intended message loses its meaning. But some of the right-wing messaging on Twitter has rubbed off on me. I think it radicalized me a bit, and I don't think it's healthy. So then there's the meta-owned competition threads that I recently joined. My goodness, the algorithm certainly pushes posts from people saying that they're done with X. Oh, X is terrible. You know, all that, it's just like, yeah, they, man, they, they really push those posts a lot, don't they? It's free advertising, I guess. But beyond that, it's all either woke or left-wing. And since Threads lets people hide replies from the public, specific replies from the public, basically, since they basically allow you to delete comments that are on your, th on your Threads, it's not just a thing of blocking it from you. No, you can block it from everyone else, too. People can basically curate their content like they would on Facebook. This means that there will be very little disagreement on the platform. It's considered a very positive platform for those who share those viewpoints. If you don't share those viewpoints, you'll be shut up very quickly, unless you water down what you're saying. So I go to both X and Threads. X for the right-wing content and Threads for the left. It's sad that it has to be separated like this. Oh well. Have a joy, joy day.